Osteoporosis is often called a silent disease because there are no symptoms and people may not even know they have it until they have back pain or a fracture. Cindy Yule was 46 when she found out she had osteoporosis after she shattered her wrist during a fall. It looked like I had gone through a car windshield from the way the bones had been damaged. She needed surgery to put her wrist back together. Dr. Lorraine Fitzpatrick performed the surgery. Cindy had the bones that were equivalent to somebody who was 15 or 20 years older than she was. The U.S. National Institutes of Health estimates that many women in their 30s and 40s have significant bone density loss. Look at this hip fragment from a healthy 40-year-old woman. And look at this one from a woman of the same age whose bones are thinning. While it is true that 80% of those affected by osteoporosis are women, and many are old, men can get it too. Whites and Asians are most at risk, but people of other races can have osteoporosis as well. Fortunately, there are plenty of medications to treat the disease, but many people stop taking their medication within a year. Dr. Felicia Kosman. People forget to take pills. People don't want to take pills. There are many people in this age group, women in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, who've already, who are taking other medications for other purposes, and they don't want to take more medications. Those who stop taking their medication are at greater risk of having a bone fracture. 20% of hip fracture patients in the U.S. die within one year of their fall, usually from complications such as pneumonia or blood clots after surgery. But a new drug, zoledronic acid, only needs to be taken once a year through an IV drip that takes 15 minutes. Dr. Eleanor Modi. It's as good as other drugs on the market, and it's much more convenient and easy for patients to, to take. A study found women who got zoledronic acid had dramatically fewer spine and hip fractures than those taking a placebo. The women on zoledronic acid also had significantly fewer fractures of other bones as well. Carol Pearson, VOA News.